This is a Robitz Compact Linear Slide Kit. This particular one is a single stage, but it can get set up in multiple stages, and we'll be covering that later in the video. So the first thing you'll do to string your compact linear slide, you're gonna take your pulley and you're gonna add some string to it. So we're going to feed this from the inside of the pulley out, and then we're gonna tie a double knot. If you've recently cut your rope, it probably will be a little bit frayed. We're gonna take a little bit of heat just to the end, and that's gonna help prevent any additional fraying. Take our rope and our pulley, and we're gonna put it on our motor shaft. And usually we advocate about one full wrap around the pulley before we start measuring out how long we need to make the cable. So this particular cable is gonna be the up cable. And so it's gonna go from this hole around down to our tie off point. So we're gonna measure down to here and we'll probably pull out an additional inch to inch and a half. Similarly on this end, it's a little frayed because we just cut it. We're gonna give it a little heat to make it nice and clean. We're gonna take our string and it's gonna go around this pulley and then it'll go back down and you'll tie it around the spacer here on this slide. Then I like to make sure that I double knot everything just to make sure that it's more resistant to coming off. If you have excess amount you can probably cut this closer to about three quarters of an inch from the end. Just make sure that you've torched the end of it so that it doesn't fray on your robot. Now we'll make the down cable. So similarly to the up cable, we will take our string and put it through our pulley and tie a double knot. So for our down string, we're gonna take our pulley, put it on our shaft. We wanna make sure it's wrapped the opposite direction, about one turn. Then we're gonna feed it through the pulley holder next to that V pulley. Pull that through. And then on this side, it's going to tie to our spacer, making sure to double knot it. Now you may notice the string is pretty loose. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our down pulley off and we're going to turn it a little bit to tension the string and put it back on. Now both sides are tensioned and we will put our retaining screw into the end so that the pulleys don't fall off. This is a Robitz Compact Linear Slide Kit with multiple stages. This one in particular has three stages. So you're gonna get a lot of movement out of this. Because it can reach so far, it's gonna need a fair bit more string than some of the other uh, lift kits. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually start kind of at the back. The ups will all be on the inner pulleys or the pulleys closer to the tube. The downs will all be on the outer pulleys, which are the pulleys farther away from the tube. So we're gonna take our string first and we're gonna put it through the pulley here at the top. And then that's gonna go down and it's gonna go through the inner pulley holder on the next moving stage. And that's gonna go up to the inner of the two pulleys on the same stage. We're gonna weave it down and it's gonna go here again on the same way as the last stage here. And once we're here, it's going to go up the same way it did on the last stage. And we're almost done here. So it's going to go and it needs to tie off to here. So here, once we have it all wrapped around, we're going to tie a knot.
It should be weaved through all of our pulleys that are on the slide holders. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pull our string while the whole thing is down and give us until about, about a half an inch or three quarters of an inch past the ends of the slides. Then what we're gonna do, we're gonna take our string, we're gonna pass it through the inside of a pulley. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take your knot side, make sure it's facing the motor, and give it a little bit of a twist to release some of the looseness and tension it. So what this is, is now enough string just for the up cable. When we wanna do our down cable, we wanna make sure that the system is fully extended. So you can either do that by twisting the pulley by hand, or you might be able to run it with your robot. So what we're gonna do on our down cable, is we're actually gonna start on our second to last moving part, and the cable is gonna go through the outer pulley holder, and then it's gonna follow along the same path it was just on and go through the outer pulley holder. And this is gonna go all the way down to our next moving stage. We're gonna take our string, pass it through that outer pulley holder, and it's gonna come back to the other pulley in the same pulley holder. We're gonna go down to the bottom of our last pulley. It's gonna go in through here. And so this end is gonna get tied off to our spool. So we're gonna pass this through here and we're gonna double knot it. And then this needs to go on the motor shaft spooled the opposite direction of the first one. So this one goes this way from like this, and this is gonna go like that. On the other side, back where we started, you're gonna take your string, you're gonna see about three quarters of an inch to an inch past the spacer that we initially were at. You're gonna cut your string. What you're gonna do is you're going to tie your string Once again, if your knot is a little bit frayed, you can add a little bit of heat and that'll help prevent it from fraying more. So all in all, we wanna make sure that our slides can move. Before we put the retaining screw on, we wanna go halfway extended because that's where the string is gonna be the loosest. And that's when we're gonna take our down pulley off and we're gonna twist it around until the string is tensioned, and we're gonna put it back on our shaft. Once it's fully tensioned like that, we're gonna put our retaining screw back in the end of our motor shaft.